You know, in virtually every conversation I have these days with individual coaching clients and leadership cohorts and teams I'm working with, there is a theme that comes up over and over and over again, a desperate need for healthy boundaries. It starts right from the top with organizational cultures that exert a pressure to do more and more with less and less and to be more and more productive with fewer and fewer resources. And it works its way down to each individual team member who feel tremendous pressure in light of an enormous mountain of tasks that they feel compelled to get done in an unrealistic time frame. And the virtual world just seems to have made things even worse. I don't know about you, but I find myself on video conferences all day and responding to email at all hours, even when I don't really need to. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. Many of us are struggling with setting healthy boundaries. So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is that there is a solution. The bad news is that you may not like it. <laughs> In this short course on setting healthy boundaries at work, I'm going to share some hard truths, but I'm also going to give you some realistic hope and some encouraging action steps that you can take right away. It's not going to be a quick fix or a silver bullet. Let me clarify that right up front. I'm going to challenge you to take responsibility for your part in the problem, for your choices and actions. And I'm going to encourage you to take courage and step up to the concerns and fears that are holding you back from addressing the issue. And I'm going to urge you to take action by offering you lots of practical steps that you can act on right away to begin moving away from this boundaryless chaos, away from the constant pressure and expectations and stresses and strains, and toward a place of greater peace sustainable balance, and healthy boundaries.